Hello and welcome. Not to the studio this time, but to one of my drawing trips, because I want to share with you how I collect source material for my prints. So here I am at the River Strid near Bolton Abbey in Yorkshire, and I, this is one of many trips that I do out into the countryside. And you can see here I am working with a Procreate program on my iPad to draw. And my drawing on site is very much rough and ugly stuff. Lots and lots of mistakes and corrections and editing and just getting a feel for the place. So my sketchbooks and uh, sketches are never pretty things. They're very much of the moment. Um, and looking at what is useful about a place for a print rather than trying to catch exactly what's there. It's all a bit of a lottery really when I'm out on a drawing trip. I'm never quite sure what will work and what won't um, and what I'll find fascinating later. So I try and keep an open mind and um, try and document as much as possible. So things like waterfalls I use quite a lot and here these rocks are just a bit of a gift. Not only um, a subject matter but also they give me a comfortable seat to sit on. I'm not very good at being out in the wild. I'm not a person who loves working outside um, in the fresh air. I like to have a comfortable studio with lots of equipment when I'm working so having a seat to sit on is a big bonus. And I try to um, make myself comfortable to draw because I work better that way, but it's not always possible. So a lot of the sketches that I do are not directly scenes of, of, of what's in front of me. I do lots of little sketches about how things work as well, because when it comes to creating a print, I would say that perhaps 60% of the final print comes out of my head rather than from sketches and photographs. So a lot of my time is just purely working out how rocks sit in the landscape, uh, how trees work, that kind of thing. Because if you're going to invent quite a lot of the landscape, you really need to know pretty much how it works to come up with something convincing. Um, here in this sketch I'm, I'm quite interested about how that ugly tree bisects the picture. I mean it's quite an awkward shape and I do like awkward. Um, I try in my prints to always have that element of something that's a little bit um, less harmonious in the picture because it gives it a bit of um, kind of contrast and spice if you like. So. Well, I may not do exactly this picture that I'm sketching here now, I suspect that that funny tree branch will probably appear in something later on. I use photography um, throughout when I'm out on a trip. I take masses of photographs. Um, I also get Ben to take photographs. He is a photographer and his photographs tend to be rather beautiful and well composed. Mine, on the other hand, are a load of absolute snapshots and again it's more about getting details that I can use for reference later. I work from photographs but not directly. I use them widely as source material. Um, and here you can see me perched on the edge there. I, I'm not very good with heights and I'm not very good with balance either. So a lot of the time these drawing trips are quite stressful. Um, this again is, this is County Durham I'm, I'm here um, at at the moment. A very beautiful landscape. This isn't a particularly scary one, but I do have some drawing trips where I end up actually quite weepy with fear, which is, it sounds a bit extreme, but it does give me some lovely prints. Um, this is the uh, top of a waterfall that I'm, I'm sketching here and I was too frightened to carry on with the walk. It got a bit sort of rocky and, and, and uh, looked like it required balance later on so I had to duck out at that stage. But I quite liked the, the tiny barn you can see there in, in the background. So my sketch is just reminding me of that little building just tucked out of the way at the edge there that I'm working on at the moment. 
So I will work these sketches up in the studio and come up with my final design. So these are very much um, kind of prototype drawings and they may or may not appear in later prints. But I hope you'll look out for them and maybe you'll spot them in the future.